Thank you very much, and uh, to listening to the Kelly story, and thank you to uh, the organisers of uh, RIU and to you, Christy, for, for putting on a great event. So listen, uh, a little bit before I uh, begin the presentation, just on the formation of Kelly. Kelly Metals was formed um, from the spin-out of lithium assets of TSX-listed Karora Resources and ASX-listed uh, Kalamazoo Resources. So the journey has been uh, commenced uh, in uh, early 23, um, and we listed on the uh, ASX um, in January the 5th of this year. So uh, the IPO opened and closed very quickly in a matter of hours, heavily oversubscribed. We raised our full $15 million uh, and could have done that several times over. Um, we have the distinction being the first IPO on the, uh, on the ASX for 2024. As I said before, on a number of occasions, if you had asked me six months ago whether this was the best time to, uh, to list, I probably would have said no. But it just goes to show if you have the right assets, then you'll certainly get the right interest. Um, disclaimer, obviously, so if you t urge you to read, um, there's some forward-looking statements in here. So what makes Kelly stand out from all the rest? Um, well, we have this massive land position of just under 4,000 square kilometres in, in what we believe is uh, uh, the largest lithium, hard rock lithium land package in Australia. Uh, and certainly we measure up on the global standard as well. Two of our three projects um, are in probably the hottest uh, lithium uh, provinces in Western Australia, or Australia if you like, one in the Pilbara and one down on the eastern Yilgarn and what we call the Higginsville. Our third project is well over east on the emerging lithium province in the Lachlan Fold Belt. As I said, uh, hugely successful IPO, raised 15, um, fully funded for the next two years. Uh, we can now focus very, very much on our, on our exploration activities. Um, several key investors came on board um, pre and post the IPO, including Mineral Resources that came on to the, to the register at 14%. Um, we also have a very strategic um, a partnership or joint venture with SQM. Um, they have a, a, the right to earn 70% on two of our projects in the Pilbara um, by spending $12 million over four years. So, uh, and we certainly have the team. We have a great team, and I'll talk a bit more about that as we go on. As I said, a bit on the corporate structure itself, IPO, 25 cents listing price, uh, gave us a market cap at listing of 36. Uh, total shares on issue, 144. We currently sit around 40 cents. Um, it gives us a market cap around that 60-odd million uh, dollars, uh, enterprise value of 43. Major shareholders, Corora with 22%, the Kalamazoo Resources with 20 and as I said, Mineral Resources sit there with 14, Wabello uh, with 4.9. Board and management on a fully diluted basis have somewhere in the order of 11% and our top 20 just under 71% uh, of the register. Board, very strong, uh, led by Luke Reiner, the chairman. Uh, Luke is well known in the industry and instrumental in putting the Cali uh, transaction together. Paul Adams, uh, non-exec director, a geologist uh, of renown, and probably most recently known for his uh, efforts in the Ironman in Bunbury, where he was very credible and up there with the, with the, with the leaders. The trouble is, I think Luke is now thinks the board should be in that uh, Ironman competition, and you can see from the physique that I'd fit in really well. Um, and uh, the only thing is, I'd, I said to, to, to Luke that um, if we were to sort of go in that, it would need to be a tag team. We'd do sort of 100 metre dashes, but even I think a 100 metre dash might be a bit far for us. But John Letty, also an Ironman. I, I'm not sure what the Ironman is to do with a, a Cali Exploration Lithium Company, but, um, or Exploration Company, but um, they, they're on the board. John Letty, um, legal counsel. M&A, um, uh, very, very strong in and around corporate affairs. Simon Coyle, um, in and around, he's our operations guy, previous general manager of operations of Pilgongora. Um, and the important part of our team is our, our management team, and that's led by Stuart Peterson as general manager of, um, of geology. He has a good, tight-knit uh, exploration team 
and, uh, and two other guys working alongside him. And you'll see the results of that uh, when I show you a bit further on. Rounding out there is Nick Matters, our, our company secretary, and Sophia Moore Morton as our CFO. Three major projects, uh, Higginsville, Pilbara, and the Lachlan Fold Belt. Um, that, that's the, uh, the one on the left there, you'll see it's, it's a big area, the Higginsville area, it's some 1,500 square kilometres. We had to break it up into eight separate areas to be able to make exploration more efficient. We currently uh, are focusing, sorry, go back. We're currently focusing on uh, the, what we call the Spargaville project up there and then also the, the Widgimiltha project right there. Um, surrounding that tenement package is any number of, of uh, uh, advanced uh, lithium projects and also two operating lithium mines in Mount Marion to the north and Bald Hill to the east of those. Down south we have uh, the Bulldania project and then to the west we have uh, uh, Essential Minerals uh, Pioneer Dome. We sit dead smack in the middle of that um, and, and we're working, as I said, on those two project areas. Pilbara, uh, you'll see in the middle diagram there, um, the uh, Doms Hill, Pear Creek, and down here is Marble Bar Tenement. We're not far from Port Hedland. As someone else has showed earlier on in the piece, we're about an hour's drive on the sealed road. And from Doms Hill, it's about an hour and a half to Marble Bar. Just to the southwest of Doms Hill, is the Pilgrim Gora uh, operation, and further, just to further southwest of that again, is uh, is the Wajana deposit. Lachlan Fold Belt has two project areas: Jinjalik and Talangata, um, a big area, 2,000 square kilometres. And I'll speak more a little bit on the, on the next couple of slides. At uh, Higginsville, or the Eastern Yilgarn, if you like, and our Spargaville project. Um, we've been, some of the work that's been done to date is around field work, mapping of these, uh, any number of outcropping pegmatites there. We reported uh, rock chip samples of highs of 3.69%. Um, this morning we released uh, uh, the results of the most recent work out there, stage one soils and also some further rock chip samples. You can see from there some big numbers, plus 5% from rock chips and a very large uh, uh, anomaly there you see over there on the right hand side of the diagram, extending some two kilometres in length and, and, and really sort of quite wide there. There's a third uh, anomaly sitting over to the west over there, um, that's called Parker Grub. It looks small at the moment and that's only because we've put a couple of lines of soils across there and again if you can look to the bottom of that you can see some good rock chip samples in excess of 2%. So this area certainly looking good for us, um, at, at not just the, the, the strike length of that uh, anomaly, but also the width of that, what we're talking about. Given the results of that, we've upgraded our stage two and stage three soils program to cover more of that ground, and I'm certainly looking forward to some of the results coming out of that. And as I said, some good work from our exploration team led by uh, uh, Stuart and Jeremy. Um, at Widgie Miltha, again, um, this is more recent results come out of here, again, part of the release. Um, big results, uh, 900 metres long, um, and you can see the numbers there. Mount Henry, early days, um, but in excess of 1% there as far as rock chips. Pilbara, land of the giants, it's the big ones up here. That's what we're looking for. That's why uh, SQM are up there as well. Um, Lachlan Fold Belt, new, uh, big area, 2,000 square kilometres up there. Um, and again, lots of work being done and we'll be reporting on some work, uh, further work as, as time goes on. So in finishing, um, look, I will say that uh, we have that massive land position. If you want to take something away, it's the man land position we have. We sit alongside some really world-class major lithium mines. We have some very real targets there. We have the funds, we have the team, and as you can see from the recent announcements, we're getting the results. Very quickly before I go, um, just to thank our, I need to thank our uh, Cali exploration team. They've done a great job.